What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm gonna to show you how to detail your car safely, quickly, and effectively using O&R, Optimum No Rinse by Optimum Polymer Technologies. Stuff is great. I'll also be using Brake Buster on the wheels, which I need to get some more of, but the reason I'm gonna use that on the wheels is because they're pretty dirty right now, and I just had them repainted and recoated. So I just wanna get that deep clean. I'll also be following up the O&R bead maker by PNS Detailing. So let's get into it. So as you can see the wheels are just coated with brake dust. Very dirty. I just had these wheels repainted so I don't have any coating on them yet. So I also want to talk about I got these recently. The IK Foam Pro 2.0 and the IK Multi Pro 2.0. And I got these from the Rad Company. I'll put the link in the description, of course. And I have my brake buster in here diluted at a five to one ratio. So that'll be good for foaming up the wheels, getting a nice rich lather on that, nice rich foam. And then I also have the Optimum paint, paint and wheel brush and the wheel gerbil, of course, and my detail brush. So first I'm just going to rinse down the wheels just because I was just driving so it might be a little warm still. We'll pump up our foam. So the 2.0 does have this handy lock on it for the trigger. So as you can see I'm pulling the trigger so you don't accidentally spray it. And we are full. All right, so this makes it so much more fun to clean your wheels, guys. Watch this. So much foam. This brush has really soft bristles. So it's even safe for your paint. I'm gonna get in all these grooves. I got so excited I forgot to do the barrels first. more lather on there. A detail brush. So this brake buster is a really solid brake cleaner. It's non-acidic. And it also has rust inhibitors built in, so great for your brake components as well. And it foams really nicely.
All right, now it's time for the rinseless wash process. So I have my O&R here, five gallon bucket with about two gallons of water. So we'll need one ounce of O&R. And this is the 32 ounce bottle. So the cap, one capful is half an ounce. So we'll do two capfuls in our bucket. Two capfuls. We'll just rinse out the cap. All right. And then we just want to swirl it around, just kind of mix the product up in the bucket. And to do this, I'm going to use my big red sponge. So this is perfect for optimum no rinse. And it was developed by Optimum Polymer Technologies. So it has these little grooves in the sponge. And the O&R will help it to encapsulate the dirt and lift it off the surface without harming the paint. So since we're in Florida, it's pretty hot out here. I'm just gonna do one panel at a time. And I also have a O&R mixed at 256 to one and my Multi-Pro 2.0. So I'll use this to kind of pre-treat, I guess, do a little pre-soak. So this will help make the wash process a little bit more safe. So we'll let this dwell on the panel for about five minutes and then go over it with our big red sponge. All right, so that's been sitting for about five minutes or so, encapsulating the dirt. So we're gonna take our big red sponge, give it a squeeze. So it's not completely dripping, but just a little bit. And then we'll wipe down the surface and just straight lines and not really go back and forth over a section. So we're basically applying o &R to the surface here. and then washing it off in our bucket with our grit guard. That panel is done. So I'm gonna take a super plush edgeless towel from Chemical Guys, fold it. And then use bead maker as a drying aid, so it'll also protect the paint as well. And there you have it. So I just rinseless, rinseless washed that one panel. So let's go ahead and do the rest of the car and I'll show you guys the results. This is another benefit of having the IK Multi 2.0 is that you can spray some of the, the dirt off, especially on these side skirts down here. Just like that. So you do want to be kind of meticulous with this process. Uh, just make sure you get most of like the lower areas, the dirty areas with the big red sponge because if not, you'll get a little bit of dirt on your drying towel. So you just want to be careful you're not rubbing that all in. Only do one pass and then flip to a clean side. Look at the hydro hydrophobics.
as you can see, the pre-soak is pretty vital to the process because it helps to already encapsulate the dirt and lift it up off the paint surface so that when you go over it with the big red sponge, it picks it up that much easier. And of course, you want to get the door jams. So I like to just stick a microfiber cloth in my bucket of O&R. Wring it out. And just wipe along the door jams. And I'll spray some bead maker. My plush towel. Dry it off. So guys, of course my neighbor has a uh, is on right now during the hottest part of the day. But thanks guys for tuning in. That's how you rinseless wash your vehicle. And of course it wouldn't take me as long as if I wasn't filming it. But as you can see, we got really high gloss from the O&R and the bead maker combined. So I'm really happy with the results. But once again, this isn't uh, like a full detail. So to me, the car kind of still feels a little bit dirty. Um, you didn't really you can't get into all like the crevices that you can with a, a normal detail with a pressure washer and a mitt, but um, this really does a trick if you're in a time crunch or if you're uh, up north or you still have access to water. So this can be done in a garage indoors. It's super handy and uh, definitely recommend you all to have O and R in your arsenal. So here we'll we'll cut to some clips of the finished product. guys thank you for tuning in that concludes this episode of O&R rinseless detail in addition to also cleaning my wheels doing kind of a more deep clean on those so guys if you like this video and want to see more detailing videos in addition to me just building out my car adding in more mods and doing maintenance as well please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it would greatly help out my channel and I would greatly appreciate it so stay tuned for the next one and I'm out